Dear viewer, we have a confession to make. We have an addiction, or more appropriately, an obsession. No matter how we try to change our ways, we find ourselves living in a perpetual pursuit for gold bars. We have adventured, we have expeditioned, we have unearthed plenty of natural gold in hidden jungles. Oh, as, as we get on in our years, it is time for us to face a truth that we are becoming old and our adventuring ways are no longer sustainable. We are no longer in the field digging for gold. We instead spend much of our time at home. And although we have had to suffer through an adjustment period, we have found a way to keep our gold lust in check. That is right, dear viewer, we have not had to quit gold cold turkey. We have done the research with our good friend Archimedes. He has shown us a method by which we may extract gold from everyday objects. If you don't believe us, dear viewer, you surely will soon. From these old CPU scraps, we will manage to extract a few sizable gold nuggets. Nuggets that will have all the authenticity of gold we would find buried deep within the earth. Gold is world famous for a very good reason. It is one of the densest of all metals on the earth. It conducts heat and electricity very easily and is the most malleable and ductile of all elements. Gold is attractive, workable, and it does not tarnish or corrode. Due to these qualities, it is no surprise that gold was one of the first metals to attract human attention. Many examples of elaborate gold worksmanship in nearly perfect condition have survived from ancient Egyptian, Minoan, Assyrian, and Etruscan cultures. The earliest recorded metal employed by humans may have been gold, as it could be found either free or native. Small amounts of natural gold have been discovered in Spanish caves used during the late Paleolithic period, around 40,000 BCE. Shaped gold artifacts made their debut at the beginning of the pre-dynastic period in Egypt, a time that lasted from around the 5th millennium BCE and the start of the 4th. Egyptian hieroglyphs from as early as 2600 BCE describe gold as being more plentiful than dirt in the country. Egypt has existed as a major gold-producing area for much of history, and although we can no longer make that journey, we can imagine our riches compare.